certain strongest man and I'm here to win. It means so much to me, you know. Here we are, Britain's Strongest Man 2017. And we're about to get started with the shield carry. But this is uh, a shield with a twist. It's about six inches deep and it weighs 200 kilograms. That's 440 pounds, considerably heavier than the beast himself. Daz, how can you possibly carry something this heavy? Uh, well, pick it up and never mind carry it. It's very difficult, but the worst thing about it is you can't get your arms around this one. Um, so it's a lot harder than a lot of the old shields we've had in the past. You've literally got to carry it like this, like a forklift. So it's very difficult and also 200 kilos. So no one will lock, lock their hands on this one, you think? No, I don't think. The only person who's ever done it is Hapthor, locked his arms around it once. <laughs> yeah. Okay, the six foot nine Icelandic yeah. guy. Yeah, well, he's not here. Uh, Eddie Hall, 63 inch chest. I mean, he, he's going to struggle to get around it. Yeah, I mean, he, he will struggle and he's very heavy. Doesn't always suit the heavier man, but I think this, this implement being heavier than usual, I think it will suit him. Well, you were very good at this and you know all about it, but uh, 60 metres. I reckon it'll be a good run, and it's a 20 meter course, so you have to touch the line and then turn around and come back. And that little twist and turn certainly fatigues you as well. So three lengths is my guess for a winner. Beats of age, Mr. Paul Smith! Paul Smith, he's got an Olympic weightlifting background. Uh, England's strongest man is his claim. Paul Dwyer, all Ireland's strongest man again. A pretty big boast. Two new men to this competition. Let's see how they get on. Dwyer closes to camera and uh, the Englishman on the far side sprinting away. Very quick. Uh, Olympic weightlifting background, of course, leaving him very explosive. Winning uh, England's strongest man at just 22. Phenomenal. The Irishman starting to struggle a little bit. And you see, no way can you lock your arms around, and the biceps soon tire. O'Dwyer goes down at 26-9. Now, Beast Roberts is 20, and look at this youngster. Brilliant stuff. Paul Smith, 35-42. Well done. Right from the start, Smith attacked it. That's the way to do it when I mean, you can't lock your hands and relax at all. You're under constant pressure with this. You've got to consume the ground quickly. Mark Steele, Borough Bridge, England. Big Tom Stoltman, two metres, two centimetres. That's uh, around about uh, six foot seven and a half, six foot eight, something like that. And uh, off we go. Steele, the Englishman on the far side, the closest to the crowd, he's racing away. Perhaps uh, watching what the youngster just did there. Stoltman, those very long arms, he can just about get his hands round, you know. Six foot eight. Oh, he's coming up to 40 metres here, Steele. That's brilliant stuff from both men in their first Britain's Strongest Man. The Scotsman now starting to tire, he's leading his back as far as he can. Is it going to be 60 metres? I think it is for Steele. This should be extraordinary. Stoltman goes down at the same time, just shy of 50. And yes, absolutely dead on. 60-0-0. And what a way to start his first Britain's Strongest Man final. Steele, 60 metres. Luke Stallman works out the oil rigs. The Scotsman Hicks works for uh, British Aerospace. Let's see what that face looks like on round two. Get ready on the whistle. MC Bill Kazmaier and he'll pick up just uh, entertaining the crowd. As uh, again, it's the man on the far side who gets uh, a good getaway. Luke Stallman, the Scotsman, but shifting through the gears is Graham Hicks, and they're pretty much even on the turn. 13, 14 seconds in, and it's uh, now 20, 25 seconds. The, the energy's completely sapped from your body. Lactic acid washing over you. Stoltman hits the 40. 
And I'm afraid Hicks has gone down that big barrel chest of his. Not helping the issue, something Eddie Hall may suffer from. 29 meters for Hicksy. And forget the clock, that's just for interest as to how far he goes, how quickly. 50.63 meters, he's just pipped his brother. You were impressing me last year, and you get better and better. Um, well, for me, we're, we're working the regs. It's, it's pretty, pretty hard to train day in, day out for the events. So um, when I'm home, uh, we try and hit the events hard myself and the younger little brother, Tom. Um. Now, obviously, just focusing on that for a minute, obviously, you've got a very, very big little brother. Oh, he's a big boy. Um, <laughs> uh, there's been a few fights at Christmas dinner, I tell you. Uh, <laughs> But I know I'm proud of Tom being here. He's uh, 10 years younger than me. He's an up-and-comer and, -comer and uh, some, some true potential in Tom to, to challenge these boys in a couple of years. So. Ladies and gentlemen, round of applause for the Highland Hawk, Luke Stolpman! Well done, Luke Stolpman. Second place at the moment. Human power we're looking at today, Adam Bishop. Former professional rugby player against uh, the former professional uh, cocktail barman, Mark Felix. He returned his strength until he was uh, 34 years old, amazingly. Now 50 on the right-hand side. Adam Bishop, very fast, of course, being a uh, former rugby winger. Oh, and look at that. Felix nearly trips at the start. Gosh, that could have been really uncomfortable. Now Bishop shoots off into the lead, and he does trip. Oh my goodness, looks a bit shocked. Well, the MC there, Neil Pickup, making sure he's all right, but uh, Felix is off. I have to say one thing about Bishop, he is uh, tough as old boots. Smashed his head up in Sweden. And uh, wow, what would have taken an old man down, he just laughed it off, blood everywhere. Now Felix coming towards that 30 meter mark, 29.90. But Bishop, gosh, just seemed to trip a little bit there. I wonder if he's going to be out of the contest or not. Don't worry, Adam Bishop is one tough guy. He can take it. Let's see about Adam Bishop. Easy enough to say, oh, but is it true? Very, very difficult circumstances early on today. That kind of thing's got to test your nerves a little bit. What happened there? Did you just catch your, your foot on the mat? Yeah, my trainer caught the, uh, the rubber matting and just went straight forward. So I'm getting a bit of reputation for being a bit clumsy these days. So, If you're going to be in the wars in any sport, this is not the one you want to be in there, mate. But you've got massive crowd support here. Ladies and gentlemen, Adam Bishop. Yeah, it's not lost to him that he uh, collapsed or nearly collapsed in Sweden. And now he's had a bad one again. But he is a tough, tough man. So too Charlie. My goodness, he's come back from multiple injuries. Pitted against Eddie Hall. Three times Britain's strongest man against two times Britain's strongest man. Hall in the ascendancy at the moment. Closest to camera. Well, I say that. Uh, quite literally in the ascendancy was Lawrence Charlie. Very quickly off of those holders and away up towards the 20 meter mark we know 60 meters is our lead now this is the final pair to go so whatever they do this will finish off the leaderboard for event one of six the beast is taking big loping strides those size 15 boats that he calls shoes are uh, helping swallow up the ground as Charlie goes down at 32 meters. And uh, Eddie has to stop eventually. It's definitely shy of 60, but it might be number two actually. 52 82. Eddie Hall, 440 pounds, about your body weight. How did it feel going down the course? That was heavy, very hard on the biceps, very hard on the lungs as well, so tough. I think if you are, you know if you're not quite as bulky, it is a, an easier event. But brute power overcomes sometimes. That was a great start on your part. Keep it up, big guy. Thanks a lot, guys. Cheers, dude.